What's going on everybody? It's your boy Caesar here. I'm gonna make this quick video real quick. Lickety split for you. I got some lines drawn. Um, or no, I don't. Okay, well whatever. I'll, we'll draw them up together. So I'm gonna just do a quick explanation as to why I think uh, the bear market is not over for Bitcoin. So we're gonna take this first, we're gonna take the first bear market that happened in uh, June 2011 all the way until November 2011. We're going to color this one reddish. Reddish. Let's just put it right there. This next one happened November 2013. I don't think that was November, actually. We're going to get the actual low here. We're going to take the actual low. Um, I'm going to make this one purple. I know that that's a double bottom there. One could argue that the low to take would be this one because that's kind of the end of the bear market, the beginning of the crab market. This was the beginning of the bull market. But I'm, I'm measuring from this point because that's the technical high of that cycle and that, that is the technical low of that cycle. Um, so I'm going to measure that. We got a couple more to go, high to low. And we're going to color this one blue. One more time. Let's see here. If the current low is the low, this is this is the measurement from the high to the low. I'm gonna color this one white. So again, just, just to refresh the memory, the red one here, that was the measurement of the 2011 bear market, our first ever bear market, the purple one was our second ever bear market in 2015 here. Our third, our blue line was our third bear market in 2018. And our white line is the current bear market that we're in. A lot of people have been talking about how this bear market has been, been horrible. It's been potentially more painful than the last bear market even, or just as painful. And these, these basic lines, these very simple lines, and I have all this information with them. I know it's a little bit messy, but just hear me out. They can illuminate why that's just not true. So clearly out of all these lines, you can see this white line, the current bear market we're in from top to bottom has the smallest distance between it. It's the smallest line out of all of them. And if you don't believe me, we can look. We got 73 picks here, 79. So it was smaller than this one. We got 82 and 114. It's the smallest one so far negative 35 degrees, it's got negative 41 here, negative 72, negative 30, it's the second lowest pitch. And I mean, truthfully, let's see, let's measure from top here to the bottom here. If we did the first low here, I know it's kind of hard to see, let's see, if we did the first low instead of the second low, that's how the purple line is, let's, let's measure the first one. And we'll paint this one, we'll make it like a light purple. So it's similar, but different, right? So this one has a negative 41 degree pitch, just like that one did. Okay, it, I don't know, whether, however you wanna cut it, it either has the second lowest or the lowest pitch and the smallest pixels, it's the smallest distance. What I'm trying to get at is, I don't think this bear market is, is over. I don't think it's over. I don't think we've seen the end of it yet. I think there's more to come. These lines say enough, in my opinion. Um, they're just random lines. That's it, you know what I mean? But they're, they're actual. It's all based on stuff that we can see that happened in the past, you know, from top to bottom. These are the measurements. And people are going around saying, I mean, we can, we can see it even. You know, we, we go to crypto, crypto fear and greed index. And this, this is only since 2014, mind you. It doesn't have all the information of crypto. It doesn't have all the history uh, backed in it. But since 2014, if we want to see all the data, here it is. We've never been this fearful for this long. We've never been this. Look at how, like, even over here, we, we popped up above the 50 every now, every now and then. We haven't been above the 50 since April. It's ridiculous. We, we've been in very fear, fearful conditions for a long time. And we haven't even seen like true movement in my opinion. I, I think, 
I don't think we're done yet. I think we're I think we're getting there. Um but this bear market is not over. I don't think it's over. And it could be, I could be wrong. It could be the smallest bear market that we've seen so far by by that simple metric, by that simple measurement. It could be the one of the lowest pitches and the smallest by measurement that we've ever seen. Not just by that measurement too, but by by percentage measurements from, from top to bottom. 77%, um, high to low here, 84%, high to low here. You know, whether you want to measure it from here, 86.9 or 86.5, whatever, um, or, or here, 93, you know, 77% would be the lowest. Do you think, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't think we're done yet. I think moving down to this purple line would put us at an 83% loss. And I think, I think that's right in line with what we can expect. And that's, that's right around 11 to $12,000. Um, I don't know. That's just that's just a hunch. Maybe it doesn't go that low. Maybe it goes lower. I don't know. But one thing, in my opinion, is for certain: whether or not we go up from here, I do think we are going to inevitably go down from here. I don't know when or where that's going to happen. It could happen. It'll probably happen sometime. Um, in my opinion, it'll happen before April of 2023. But it could happen after. You know, I've been saying in, in uh, my past videos that, uh, I mean, I'm not going to measure it now, but from the halving dates that it's been about a year, the longest that, or the, the most time that we've seen before the halving actually happened was a year and five months that we turned up. That was here, you know, right here in February, March, April, May, we turned up and it was a year or maybe, I don't know, it was, was the halving 2021? The halving was in May of 2020 and the bottom that's what it was was in december of 2018 and that was a year and five months away from the halving that's the furthest distance what i'm trying to get at is the next halving is in april of 2024 and i think that we could be instead of seeing a stretch from that date i think we could be seeing a contraction from that date where we've had a year and a year and a year and five months before the having as our bottoming dates. I don't think we're going to see a year and five months away from the having as a bottoming date. I think we're going to see less than a year. So if we bottom, if, if the having is in April, it's, it's possible that we could see the bottom sometime after April. I don't know. And if that was to happen, would we move? Would we just move straight down? until then i mean it would just it would just basically be like that you know a line like that that's totally possible we've basically been doing that i mean i guess that's possible i don't know i'd rather see that i would rather see us go down from here to whatever low we might find where, where, wherever it is i'd rather see that than see us go up and then get rejected and come back down because even if even if we didn't go that low, even if we didn't go that high, whatever. If we went this high and we came down to the same low, right? Right there, same low. What sucks about this is this one happens in August of 2023, while this one happens all the way in May of 2024. So if we could just go down instead of going up and get this low out of the way, I think we can put our bull pants on and get ready for the next uh, moon mission going up here. I don't think we're actually going to go this low. I don't think we're going to 4,000, by the way. I just I drew that randomly. Um, I would be surprised, really, if we went below this purple line again, right over here. I can't draw lines. Let me see. I would be surprised if we went below that area, but anything can happen. Um, but what I'm getting at is I'd rather see us just get done with it, keep going. We're clearly, in my opinion, not done um, going down. We are in the shortest, smallest, most insignificant bear market that we've ever been in other than the media other than the publicity it's the least significant bear market we've ever seen we can see it in volume we can see it in you know i mean we can go back and measure again the uh, pitch from top to bottom you know like it, it's not that extreme and it's also hasn't been hasn't been that far away it hasn't been the, the drop hasn't been that extreme either which, you know, as we get bigger, of course, we're going to have less dramatic drops, but I don't know. The first one wasn't even the biggest one. It was the second one that was the biggest one. 
And the third one and the second one, if you took this first bottom instead of the second bottom, they're pretty similar, very similar. So we could look for something more like that. If, if we were to find something that was more like a 2017, 2015 bear market, we would expect to find a low soon, pretty soon, within the next month or so, honestly. Maybe this month or maybe next month. Um, but I don't know if we're going to get that. I don't know if we're going to get that. I don't know. Time will tell. This is a drawn out video saying time will tell. All right. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. Leave the likes up. Uh, thumbs, thumb, like, like the video. Leave a thumbs up. Thank you. Um, take care. Have a wonderful day. Wonderful night, wherever you are. Uh, bye bye. See you next time.